Hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I came up with the idea of this new series that I'm going to be touching upon today, where I pick a maximum of four products a month and just dedicate every single tutorial, whether it's on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, any kind of content that I upload for the month is mainly going to be featuring these four products. I have stopped buying new makeup. I am on some PR lists, so I do get makeup sent to me for free and I would never turn down free because if it's free, it's for me. But I've really become a minimalist. I really wanna use the products that I love and have in my beauty collection already. And I thought this would be really good for you guys. If you did wanna go ahead and buy them or if you already own them, then you're gonna have a multitude of videos dedicated to the various ways that you can go ahead and use the products. I'm really hoping that this is going to help you guys just use up what it is you already have and focus more on the different ways that you can use a product rather than just focusing on is this one product good enough. I will be using them with different products. This way you can see how a liquid product or a cream product or a powder product sits with them. So it's really gonna be these four products and then other products will rotate around them. And that's gonna give you a really good idea of how these products play with other products, with other consistencies or formulations. So let's hop into the products that I'm gonna be featuring this month, the month of November. This is the foundation slash concealer slash contour slash bronzer I will be using this month. This is the RCMA makeup foundation slash concealer palette in number 11. And it just has an array of concealer shades, foundation shades. I'm wearing this all over the face today, as well as the other products that I'm gonna mention. I am resurrecting this product. I did a full review video on it. No, it wasn't a review video, I'm sorry. It was the first impressions and I kind of was like, this is not worth your money. However, I follow Andrea Ali. She is a makeup artist based in Paris. I love her YouTube channel and she swears by this. I do like it, I just, I still feel like the price tag is a little bit hefty but I did use it today and my skin is glowing. My last product, and I kind of picked two. Where did I put it? Here they are, I found them. So Il Maquillage makes really beautiful eyeshadows. I have had the one palette for a really long time, this one called The Real Deal. You guys would have seen me do a few tutorials on it, which I will link one up here, link some down below so you can go back and see how I've used this in the past. I received this other one in the mail a few weeks ago and I just, I had to open it, had to try it because these eyeshadows blend like a dream. These are like one of the most user-friendly shadows I've ever used, but Il Maquillage sent me the same thing, Color Ball Squad in Make Moves. So. We have Make Moves right here, which is a more cool toned palette. And then I have this one, which is again, the real deal, which is more warm shades with more shimmers. These are the two palettes. I'm gonna insert a picture right here. If you do not own these palettes, take a screenshot of this image right now and just go through your collection and see what eyeshadows you have that resemble this. You do not need to go out and buy any of these products that I'm featuring for the next month. You can find a product that's similar to it and try it in the various ways that I'm trying these products and just kind of eliminate what works and what doesn't work because that's what I do with every single product that I use. I really, really, really wanna showcase this in my YouTube channel more because I wanna be more of a minimalist. I want to waste less. I want to consume less. I want to save my money and I want to save the planet. And that is kind of how I'm looking at this new series going forward, teach you guys to use what it is you have and teach you guys the various ways that you can test and try your own makeup, whether it's the makeup that I'm using or makeup that you have that's similar to what I'm using. So I hope that this all makes sense. All of these products will be linked down below. This is not sponsored. This video is not sponsored. None of these companies are offering me a penny. Um, but this is just for educational purposes because my why is to make every woman that I ever encounter 
feel better about herself. I want to just touch at least one of you in every single video that I make to just empower you, to show you that you can do this. You can do something to make yourself feel better about yourself, feel more confident each and every day. That is really my why. I love helping people. I've always loved helping people. I also need to start taking a little bit of my own advice. I've had so much, like just to be real for a second, I've had so much anxiety about sitting down in front of this camera and filming a sit down video. I'm constantly comparing myself and I don't even compare myself to others. That's something that I don't do. I am constantly comparing myself to myself. Like I could be doing this better. I could be doing that better. And it's honestly gotten to be really crippling, which is why I've taken a lot of time off of YouTube because it's like, how do I explain this? If someone watches my YouTube channel and they're like, oh, why are you doing makeup? You're so ugly. Like, I don't really care if someone calls me ugly, but I care if I'm sitting there watching my video and I'm like, wow, that looks dumb. Like, why did I think that? I don't, it just, it's my own opinion that honestly hinders me, paralyzes me and hurts me the most. Yet I sit here, yet I have the nerve to sit here and tell you all that you're beautiful just the way you are while feeling extremely insecure that I'm gonna sit down and edit this video and absolutely hate it. I need to give myself more grace. So that's definitely something that I have been working on for the last two months. I think the last time I filmed and sat down with you guys was like two months ago. And the last time I uploaded a video was a month ago while Mike and I were on our honeymoon in Italy. And that was like just such an experience, but I just haven't been able to bring myself back to sitting here and talking to you guys, but I'm definitely gonna do a better job. I just filmed like 20 minutes worth of footage and did not hit, I did not hit record <laughs> on my microphone, but I feel like I did such a good job of like explaining myself and I was so vulnerable in that moment that I'm going to give myself the advice that I was just saying that I need to do, which is to give myself some grace. I wanna show you guys a little tutorial featuring the products that I just mentioned. We need to give you guys like a good introduction into these products and what it is we're gonna be using for the next month. Wouldn't you agree? This is not the makeup look that I'm wearing today. So make sure that you follow me on socials and you will see a video on how to do this look. So this is the look that I'm gonna be featuring or sharing with you guys today. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. Start off with my foundation. I took a couple of the shades that I thought matched my skin, mixed them together on the back of my hand with a spatula, and now I'm just gonna press that and push that into the skin. Personally, I always prefer a brush when applying my foundation, so that's exactly what I'm gonna use. And this is a Kat Von D powder brush, putting it all over my skin, and it does blend out really nice, and I have to say it thinned out really beautifully and looks really natural. And as you can see already, it does give a little bit of a sheen to the skin. Skin, I do look dewy, but in the best way possible. Going in with a concealer shade, I just picked one shade, put it on the back of my hand with a spatula, and now I'm gonna press that underneath the eyes. I kind of thought that looked a little patchy, so I went in with a concealer brush and applied it that way instead, which I did like, but I found that there wasn't a lot of coverage and I do have pretty dark circles. So after applying it with a brush, I went in with my finger again, straight from the palette, and I'm just pressing that where I need a little bit extra coverage, right in the corner of my eye, as well as right underneath and I'm just really making sure to blend that out. Blending it out even further, I went ahead and took a damp beauty sponge and just really pressed that into the skin. Taking a little bit more concealer, I'm just going to conceal around my mouth using the warmth of my finger. I'm literally picking it up from the palette with my finger and pressing it into the skin. I'm gonna put a little bit down my nose. I'm gonna start brightening the center of my face to pull the center of my face forward. Take that sponge and just press everywhere into the skin. Again, just blending out everything I just put on my face. Contour shade on a small flat brush and I'm just gonna start chiseling out the cheeks and just going about how I typically contour my face. Guys, in this palette, it's all cream products. So cream can be a little thick. It's gonna take a little extra blending no matter how you apply these shades to your face. I'm really just taking my time, really pressing, pushing it into the skin. And as you've seen already, I'm gonna go ahead and go back and forth between using a brush and then blending everything out with a sponge. So I'm laying down with a brush and then blending with a sponge. That 
is my preference. I find that brushes are more precise, which is why I like to lay down product with them. But then a sponge does a really nice job of blending everything out. So I'm just putting this everywhere where I would like a little bit of darkness, really focusing this on the outskirts of my face. A little bit more of that contour shade on a artiste brush. I think that's what they're called. Contour my nose, you know, every nose is different. So if you see me contouring my nose a certain way, um, that doesn't mean that it's going to work for you, but this is how I contour my nose and I figure I would just show you guys because yeah, we're learning how to use this. So I just want to see what this looks like and to be totally honest, I didn't really love the nose contour at the end of this look, but again, I went in with a sponge to just blend that out. Now I'm taking a little bit more concealer on a flat brush and I literally just picked this up from the palette, straight from the palette, and I'm just gonna go ahead and put that where I need it. I don't know, I just felt like this concealer didn't do a great job of covering the darkness around my eyes and I wanted a little bit more coverage, which is why I went in with this brush. Reinforce that nose contour as well, putting a little bit of that concealer shade next to the contour to help brighten it and kind of just make it look a little bit more pronounced. And as always, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with a beauty sponge to just blend that all together. Now I'm just taking that concealer shade on the same brush, again, picking it up straight from the palette, and I'm just putting that, again, in the sections of my face, the center of my face, that I want to bring forward. So I'm using this concealer to highlight, reinforce that contour underneath my cheekbone, and again, pressing that, blending that in with a sponge. Now I just wanted to see what this would do, so I went into the palette directly with my sponge, picked up a little bit of that concealer shade, and just kind of pounced that to reinforce the sections of my face that I highlighted. I'm going in with my blush. You guys have seen this so many times, but again, I'm showing you how products play with the products that we chose. So this is the Tower 28 blush in the shade Happy Hour. Love this blush, oh my God. Matches the natural flush in my cheeks, so I get away with using a lot of this and I love a lot of blush. So I'm gonna use the palette Real Deal today, darkest shade, which is a deep brown on a small fluffy brush, and I'm really just gonna focus that on the outer third of my eye before then bringing it into the crease. I want my crease to not look heavy, but I want it to be really defined. Just focusing this on the outer third, and then once most of that product is laid down and off of the brush, I'm gonna sweep that into the crease, just going back and forth, really taking my time. And can you just see how that kind of brought depth and attention to the outer third of my eye to help elongate the eye? Clean fluffy brush, I'm just gonna go ahead and blend the edges. Again, I don't want any harsh edges on my face, whether it's my face, my eyes, so I'm just blending that out. And again, I'm blending the top edge as well as right underneath the eye. And then I'm gonna go in with that light pink shade in this palette on that same fluffy brush. And I'm just gonna dust this on the inner portion of my eye. This is really a beautiful shade. It just kind of brings light to the eye, but you can't tell that it's a shadow. It kind of like matches your skin a little bit, but has a little bit of brightness, which is perfect. Going back in with that dark brown shade on a small flat brush, I'm just gonna go and reinforce that first shade that I put down because I felt like a little bit of it got lost when applying that pink shade. Going back in with the fluffy brush that does have a little bit of pink on it, I'm just gonna kind of dust this everywhere, blending everything together. Light shimmer shade from this palette on my index finger. I'm just gonna focus that on the center of my lid, really patting it and pressing it into my lid before going ahead and moving towards the inner corner of my eye. The only place I'm not putting this basically is the outer third because I wanna keep the outer third dark because that's gonna create that elongated effect. Picking up that same shimmer shade with a pencil brush, I'm just gonna throw this in the inner corner of my eye as well as underneath my entire brow and I'm gonna blend that out with my index finger just because I was lazy and didn't feel like grabbing a brush. Taking a little bit more of that brown on an angled brush, I'm just stamping this on the lash line. This didn't do much, it was really subtle, but this kind of trick helps to make it look like you have more lashes than you already do. Curling lashes, throwing on my Lancome Lash Idol Mascara, Charlotte Tilbury New Gazin Palette. I'm gonna take the deepest shade in the palette with a big fluffy brush and just put that over where I contoured my face just to reinforce it. Blush shade on a brush, and I'm just gonna pat that onto the apples of my cheeks to just go ahead and reinforce that blush, just make the blush look a little bit more shimmery. 
I love this highlight. I'm taking the highlight on a fluffy brush and I'm just gonna put that where I typically highlight my face, right on the tops of my cheekbones, as well as across the very top of my nose because that section of my nose sits pretty far back on my face. And this is the finished makeup look. Guys, the skin looks beautiful. The eyes are so beautifully blended. Like I really feel like this eyeshadow palette is foolproof. Anyone can use it. The shadows practically blend themselves. Look at the skin. The skin looks beautiful. It looks great in real life. Definitely not full, full coverage in real life, but it looks beautiful on camera. So overall, I'm really happy with the products that I chose for this month, and I cannot wait to dive into them deeper with you guys. Let me know what you guys think about this series. Do you like it? Do you love it? Guys, anything. I would love to hear it. Let's create this series together. Again, I'm here to help you. So help me help you by sharing what it is you would like to see. Make sure that you subscribe and click that bell next to it. This way you get a notification every time I upload a video here. Thank you guys so much for joining me and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys. Mwah.